So you collected information from students in a Google form and now you want to view that data. There are two ways to do it. So here, just open up your Google form that you created. Here you're going to see, you know, where you created all the questions. Here you're going to see, uh, see responses. Go ahead and click that. You've got two options. You can see summaries or individual. This is a summary where it's going to give every question you collected that those responses will put them all together. So here was question one, here was question two, and you're just going to see all of the students' responses grouped by question. If you want to see individual students, you can click the individual tab, and now it will give you student number one and all of their responses to the questions, and you can just arrow through to see all of them. That's a great way to see it, but a simpler way, especially for teachers, is to see it all inside of a spreadsheet. That way you can see everything in one place. So what we're going to do is click the three uh, dots. We're going to choose Select Response Destination. You have two options. You can create a new spreadsheet or select an existing spreadsheet. The existing is just you've already got a spreadsheet created and you want to send the data to it. Most of the time when you create a Google form, you're going to create a new spreadsheet. It's going to go ahead and automatically name the spreadsheet, whatever the name of your form is, and then it'll add the word responses. You simply say create. Go to your Google Drive, and you will find it here. There it is. So here's the name of my Google form, and now the word responses will show me the answers. Okay. So every question you asked or every data you've collected is going to come in um, row number one, and it's going to list it all the way across. It will timestamp it, so the date and time the student submitted automatically. Hopefully you're collecting email addresses or you're asking students for their name so that you know who's who. Um, here I had the name all put in as one, um, but a smart thing to do would be to ask for first name and then in a separate question, ask for uh, last name. That way you can sort by last name. Um, if you're not sure how to sort, you simply click an arrow that you want to sort by and uh, right click your mouse. Or if you're on a Chromebook, it's a two finger tap where you tap your two fingers at the exact same time. And then you just come down here and say sort. Okay, that way you could sort, you know, a whole class or a whole section of students at a time. All right, so now every question you ask is going to be in a different column. Here I only asked one question, but you see how long these are. So you can imagine if there were questions and data in these, it would kind of be overlapping and hard to read. So what you can do is highlight as many columns as you have questions. We're going to come up here to this funny looking icon. If you hover your mouse, it'll say text wrapping. And we want to choose the center one where it's going to wrap the data into a box. Now you can clearly see everything and you don't have to worry about question uh, overlapping each other. You can make your boxes bigger if you need to so that doesn't take up so much space going down. And now you can see all the excuse me information for one student all the way across all of their responses. Or if you want to just look at responses, you know, maybe you just want to look at question F, then you can go down looking at all of the answers from all of your students on just that one question.